Hello, I am Jonathan J. Reinhardt from Wargaming Recon. This is the pandemic coffee break. Today is Friday, April 3rd, 2020. So I want to welcome you all to joining us. So I am lucky enough to be working from home. And just like when I'm at work, I take a coffee break, but I'm spending it with you. So today I'm back to my Tim Hortons mug and my uh, decaf Earl Grey with cream and Splenda. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Um, I would love to know what you were drinking as well. It's always fascinating to see what everyone is having for a morning beverage or uh, whatever time of the day it is as you're joining us here for the uh, pandemic coffee break. So today uh, we have some interesting stuff planned. I want to start off by talking about last night's watch party netflix party and it was a lot of fun some of you came out and um or rather stayed home <laughs> and joined us at the netflix party so we watched robin hood prince of these is really enjoyable and i think it worked pretty well so we are going to be doing it again and i know that some of you i think had some issues joining though good morning robert how are you uh so some of you i believe had issues joining as well which is unfortunate so i just want to run down quickly through how this works uh, so that way you can be prepared for when we do them again so you need to use google chrome as your web browser you have to have that you also have to install the free netflix party plugin so if you go to netflixparty.com and um it'll walk you through right on the what to do it gives you a button you click and that'll let you go ahead and download the netflix party um, plugin for chrome you install it you get all of the stuff's going and everything and then when we do the movie party i will post a link for you to click excuse me for you to click on this link and uh, when you do that it'll open up uh, netflix on your web browser on your computer and uh, once it starts doing that, I want you to go up into your address bar. To the right of it is a little icon that says NP. Click on that. And after you click on that, it should refresh and it'll bring you right in so that the video is synced with me. And it'll also get you into the chat room. So that way you can be in the chat room. It assigns you like an icon or whatever. You can pick any sort of avatar you like. Uh, go on and give yourself a name so we know who you are. And that way you can chat with us. So I don't know. Um, who had issues specifically uh well i know one of you who did <laughs> and uh, i don't know if people had trouble with stuff but like that's what you should do and if you do have trouble please contact me and i'm happy to try to help as best as i can good morning rob and um that's just something um to do so we're actually going to be doing more netflix parties uh so first of all tonight the mythwits over on the mythwits facebook page they're gonna be showing um flash gordon <laughs> so that should be fun that they're gonna be at as well so we can uh go on i'll be there i'll be watching it and having uh, a good time enjoying that and uh just uh having some fun there watching it with them it's such a bad movie that it's good um and then next tuesday april 7th uh we're gonna be doing one here at we recon uh it'll be for the dirty dozen so we did a poll I don't know, early in the week, end of last week, something like that, on the fan club page and asked people to vote for what they wanted to watch. And uh, I broke the ties so we could watch Prince of These, but then the Dirty Dozen came in second. So we're going to be doing that on Tuesday. And then we might be doing another one following it. Good morning, Jorg. Thank you for joining us. So we might be doing another one, but the Dirty Dozen should be a lot of fun. Great cast in that. You got Lee Marvin. You got a like a who's who at the time of stuff and it's just it's a fun movie so the dirty dozen should be really really good and uh look forward to that too so we get flash gordon tonight on friday uh monday is a new Mythwits episode so that should be cool too and then tuesday we're doing our um dirty dozen movie party uh and then for anyone who's watching video uh, especially if you're watching live you might notice my hair's been done my uh kids yet again decided my eldest really decided i needed a fancy hairdo uh, good morning, Jamie. Uh, decided that I needed a fancy hairdo uh, for the day. So I am all ready to be extra fancy. <laughs> I mean, like, my goodness. 
Wow, sometimes less is more, isn't it? <laughs> oh, if it makes them happy, what do I care? It's not permanent, right? So, uh, I, I was talking at the very, very beginning about what you're all drinking and how I'm drinking my Earl Grey again. So I don't know if any of you are drinking any uh, special beverages for the time of day. Um, depending where you are, it might be later that day. Maybe you're having an adult beverage or anything. Uh, Rob says he's drinking local blend toasted cinnamon coffee from Buffalo Grill in his hand solo mug. I love that you still use that hand solo mug every day and that you you wash it out every day too because it's, I mean, unless do you have like seven of them, one for every day of the week and you just rotate them out because that would be really funny if you did. If you're just like, here's number two. I actually, I have multiples of my um, uh, Tim Hortons mug here. Mm. It's good stuff. Uh, but uh, I also was thinking about the fact that because it's Friday, there's this tradition on Twitter that I think is a really good tradition. Um, and I want to share it with everyone. Uh, but before I do, I want to say that Dale says good morning, Dale, that he's drinking water. And Rob uh, mentions that he had an online game of Check Your Six last night. Very cool that you're doing Check Your Six. Uh, I know you were talking about that you're going to do that. So on Fridays on Twitter, and I don't know how many of you are on Twitter. Uh, some people don't like to be on there uh, for a variety of reasons. And that is perfectly okay. It's whatever makes you happy. But on Twitter, there's this common hashtag that appears on Fridays. Um, just like other social media platforms use hashtags for different things. Twitter uses a hashtag FF, meaning follow Friday. And it's usually a chance where um, it actually originated where you would use it and you would put like say one or two other Twitter accounts that you really liked and you'd um, put their handles in there so people could click on it and then follow them. And then you would say why you like them. And it has morphed into more over the past few years of a case of someone or people doing hashtag FF and then just listing a bunch of other Twitter accounts uh, for people to click on and then follow. And so today uh, there's a special thing being done uh, where uh, and it's kind of been initiated by Henry Hyde, which I think is really um, not surprising because Henry does a lot of things where he initiates stuff. Uh, he's really good that way. Uh, and so he put a Twitter um, a tweet up. I was going to say Twitter post, but he put a tweet up that says, uh, Twitter has the excellent tradition of the FF hashtag. In these difficult times, it can send a powerful message to all the small businesses and one person bands in our hobby that we are thinking of them and we want to support them. So I'll start. Please add your own favorites. And he lists a ton of accounts, everyone from Bad Squirrel Games to Cigar Box Battle to Gripping Beast. Uh, although I would say Gripping Beast is in a small band, but whatever. Um, War Bases, Sarissa, who I would also say is in a small band, but whatever. Pendracking uh, and so forth. Uh, and so there's a lot of people who are, uh, you know, commenting and sharing that with their accounts that they want to promote. And so that is really cool. And I thought it would be a neat thing to do here on Facebook and YouTube and everywhere else. So uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put in the Facebook fan club page. We're going to put it out, uh, hashtag FF and ask people to link to their favorite uh, gaming places. Uh, well, might be small one band shops, um, cottage industry, but uh, maybe people who need a little attention given to them and maybe people who could use a little bit of business. So that could be really nice since so many businesses are closed and uh, we'll be doing that and having that up uh, today shortly, but feel free to mention any in the chat or in comments below uh, that you really like and you want to draw attention to. And maybe we will mention them as well in an upcoming uh, pandemic coffee break or upcoming episode of the podcast. Uh, so that would be really cool to do that as well. Carrie says, good morning, Carrie. That is a stylish hairdo for the quarantine. Yeah, I can thank my girls. You have boys, so I'm guessing this doesn't happen to you very often, but look at this. Should I go to the game store like this when we uh, reopen and do game days? I just do it. No one would think anything. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's not my usual style, is it? <laughs> it's my usual style is more plain, but my hair is long. Do you see how long this is? God, it's a rat's nest back there. My goodness. Uh, but my hair's really long. I really need a haircut, so I'm feeling it. <laughs> and I should shave again, too. Uh, I have really sensitive skin. Um, 
and so I can't shave that often. But also, because I'm of Mediterranean and also of African descent, my hair kind of comes out a little curly. So I get ingrown hairs if I don't shave often enough, but also if I shave too often. And then um, my skin has a lot of moisture and oil in it. So I have the problem where like, I could be really careful because otherwise I can break out easily. And um, I guess no one really cares, but there it goes. It's my pandemic coffee break, so I can say whatever I want. Carrie says, is a sign of a good dad letting them do hair? I don't, they could do whatever. I've gone to work with stuff like this in my hair. I've gone to work with, um, have they done my nails yet? I don't think they've done my nails yet. Um, but they'll put like stickers on me and they do whatever. And I'm like, whatever, who, who cares? It makes them happy and that makes me happy. Uh, and that's all that matters. It's not permanent. And even if it was, whatever. I have other permanent <laughs> things that uh, could help. Oh, beard oil will help soften and avoid curls, says Carrie. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, I should work on that. I can't really grow a beard. Uh, you might not be able to tell, but I'm like really patchy. And then also, I'm like almost completely gray and white here on my facial hair, uh, which is really funny. Uh, uh, I, I have a lot of it up in here, and my uh, stylist is always trying to get me to dye my hair. And I'm like, no, I'm okay. And she's like, are you sure you don't want to? Like, because you can do any color you want. Uh, but actually, recently, I have been wondering uh, <laughs> that uh, maybe I should change my hair color. I was positive maybe to do like a green or a red or something uh, just to be kind of fun. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, and. I've also uh, been told that I shouldn't do that because that is a sign that one is suicidal. <laughs> and I'm not saying everyone who does that is suicidal, but for people who have mental health difficulties, as I do, that uh, people take that as a sign that you're in distress and in crisis. And I am not in crisis, so I don't want anyone to be extra worried about me or anything, which is why I have. Um, <laughs> uh, but maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll do like a big disclaimer. Or we'll do a video where I'm like, I'm going to change my hair color. Oh, I could do it for fundraiser. I could do it with like extra life or something. I'll dye my hair for that because that'd be pretty cool. Um, Jamie says, uh, just stop shaving completely. It only takes a couple of months to stop being itchy. Thing is, it doesn't grow out enough for me. Like this is a week's worth of growth and it's all patchy. So like, I don't think it fills in for me. Some people just can't. And I'm, I'm one of those. I, it, I don't know. It's my weird. I'm a hirsute individual, <laughs> but it's one of those things where I think because of my ethnic backgrounds and my weird blending of stuff, like I can't. So I don't know, but I can't quite do baby face um, as it is. Harry says, yes, it's longer. Calm it through. Jamie gives plus one a beard oil. And Carrie says, keep it dad graying. That's distinctive. See, that's what I think. I mean, I'm going to be 40 soon ish. And I feel this is appropriate. And I mean, I don't, I don't care. I really, I, so I read once I, um, that, well, I don't think I read the whole book, but I read parts of a book where it's like CEOs and top creatives and all that kind of stuff, giving tips for what they do every day uh, to try to be successful and all that kind of stuff. And one of the things they mentioned was about like, a bunch of them tend to get up like at the crack of dawn and do stuff. But another thing that a group of them do, including Steve Jobs, is to wear the same outfit every day. So they have like 10 identical blue shirts and 10 pairs of black pants or whatever. And so they just do that. And that's something I've thought of doing where I can just be like, I'm wearing the same thing every day. I don't really care. It's one less thing to care about. And like that with my hair, it's one less thing for me to care about. It's one of the least important things for me. I mean, I want to look presentable. I want to look good, but I am not obsessed with how I, I appear. Uh, I am more focused on what I'm doing and what I'm thinking and things like that. Good morning, Paul. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so that's something, um, another reason why I'm like, I don't want to get into the whole, like I've dyed my hair and I need to touch it up or whatever. Um, it's frustrating enough for shaving cause I'll be like, Oh, I got to shave again. And actually the thing that annoys me the most about personal care is trimming my fingernails and it's a stupid, stupid, stupid thing. But I hate like you go with, uh, uh, nail trimmer and you're, you're clipping them all and then you got a you know, the emery board or whatever and the nail file and you go and you, just like I hate it all and it's never exactly right for me and it I don't know it just really annoys me and it's not a thing to be talking about in a pandemic coffee break but um, it's just it's a weird thing uh, for that so I don't know um, Rob mentions that they had 12 players for check your six all with a Texas connection he recorded it 
That's awesome. So we'll put it out on Wargaming Recon um, for people to view beyond all the places. Um, talking about small businesses and everything, I want to talk about things from the basement. Uh, as you all know, I love things from the basement. I'm a big fan of Yorg's. I think he's a genius. And I know he doesn't like when I say that, but again, I don't care. My pandemic coffee break. Uh, so uh, I do think he's a genius. And I want to show off a couple things that I've been doing. And I have to say this pandemic is amazing for me in that I'm actually being really productive. So I mean, not as productive as I'd like to be, but I'm not dwelling on that because that's not a good thing. That's not positive reinforcement. I'm choosing to be happy with what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm doing is I made that arch bridge. And this is a gorgeous piece and it's ingenious. So when Jorg designed it, you'll see there's all these little slits. And not only do they look good, but they help it bend. So when you do it, you glue it to the outside frames on the bottom, and then you use um, clothespins to hold it. And I had a little bit of trouble where it came unstuck last night when I was working on it, but that's okay. And then you add in these bottom pieces, which wrap around. Those are a little tricky because you're going to have to hook them up and around, but I got it. And then the handrails. And this is just a nice looking piece. I need to ink it and dry brush it and all that kind of stuff. But this is going to be really cool on the table. And the red's not as bright of a red as I'd wanted, but it'll do. It's okay. It's still drying, so I'm being a little hesitant with it uh, for that. And then... <laughs> um, Please, uh, logarithm, algorithms, do not, uh, I'm not being obscene as I pull this gigantic thing out from down below. I built a chimney, <laughs> and yes, I know it's phallic looking. Uh, not really, but it's just, well, I guess kind of, I mean, I don't know, different audience. Uh, so I built this. I had some trouble with it because the instructions don't match exactly with the pieces that you get. Uh, but I've worked with Jorg yesterday. I was chatting with him and got it figured out and found out I did have all the correct pieces, which is really cool. And so I built this, and this was a lot of fun to build. Um, I'm holding it gingerly because um, today I went ahead and I used um, Army Painter a Dark Tone ink wash or whatever on it. And it was actually beating up. So I was using like a foam brush to kind of spread it and to um, get rid of some of the bubbles. And I pushed down a little too hard, and so it it, it broke apart, not broke, but like it came apart, uh, which is actually, uh, it came, ideally I would have had this separated into a, like two pieces, like maybe one right up here. So you could have this whole bottom piece together and then have the top separately or each one of these would be separate, but I glued them all together. And of course where it separated wasn't where I would have wanted it to, and I didn't want to mess with it to break it. So I covered the whole thing with uh, the dark ink wash, which really gives it this nice gritty look. And then on the top, too, you might not be able to see as well inside and everything. So you can kind of see that it's smoky-ish. Uh, and I am going to probably do uh, maybe another coat of that. And then I will also do um, like a dry brush on it and everything to kind of get everything to come together. And at first, all these sections where you can see on the side, that's wood showing. And at first, I was going to paint it um, red and everything to match the bricks. Uh, but I decided that all the exposed corners from the woods, I actually kind of like how it looks. And I don't know if everyone agrees with me or not. Uh, so I'm curious, what do you think? Do you like the wood showing? I was thinking it just kind of shows like a really beaten up side of brick is how it appeared to me. Um, so I was just going with it. But I'm curious what people think. So leave a comment in the chat or down below or wherever uh, for that. So I don't know, are any of you working on anything cool? because we'd love to hear about it. You can always comment or put it in the chat uh, and see what's going on. Uh, we had some interesting schoolwork today, actually. Uh, I was doing some homeschooling with my eldest this morning, and she had to pick her favorite bug. And uh, originally they were gonna go out and do like a bug hunt, but it's pouring, and so that didn't happen. But instead, the kids got to uh, pick their favorite bug and draw it. And then they had to say why it's their favorite. So my eldest is in pre-K. And I was trying to find out, like, what bug that um, she would pick. 
And I was like, what bug do you like? And she's like, I don't like bugs. And I was like, okay, but are there any bugs you like? Any insects you like? And so I'm going through a list. I'm like, do you like ants? And I know she hates ants. Like, she's afraid of ants. No, no, I don't like ants. Do you like spiders? No, I don't like spiders. Do you like grasshoppers? No, I don't like grass. So eventually we get to butterflies. And she says, but I don't know how to draw a butterfly. I was like, well, what if I show you a picture? And do you think you can work from the picture? And she's like, yeah. So I go through and I'm looking on my phone and I find um, like an outline of a butterfly. That's a simple outline. Because um, in my head, I'm thinking, like, you know, you just have the line and you go boop, boop and butterfly. So I showed her, she's doing all these butterflies and she instantly starts grabbing all these other crayons and stuff to make really colorful butterflies. And I said, that they're really cool. And so go through the whole thing and she's drawing a million butterflies, which is awesome. And then I'm like, so why do you like butterflies? She's like, I don't know. And she had literally just told me moments before why she likes butterflies. And I was like, seriously, come on. You know, how, so it, it turns out the reason she likes butterflies, and I think this is really funny, um, is let me just pull up i took a picture because uh with all the at home sorry that's my heat turning on with all the at home stuff uh the teachers like us to take pictures and send it to them and so my kid said butter all butterflies are pretty Re there's rainbow colored ones they like to drink water from people's water bottles so that they can then fly around and they like people and birthday parties and i thought that would just be like it'd be weird but wouldn't it be kind of fun to have a game where you're like you're like, I don't know, like a combat butterfly out on a mission. And you could kind of use like a Wings of War kind of rules or something. And I thought it might be a neat way to kind of blend something so you could get younger kids into some gaming. I don't know, just like a thought I had. I'm sure there are uh, war gamers out there who've been doing this sort of stuff for a million years. And like, yeah, you like butterflies, you like cat, we'll do the spiders because you're really into spiders. And like, I don't know, it just it seemed like a cool thing to do. Uh, so I don't know, maybe I'll... I'll Go with it. Uh, anyone know where I can get good butterfly miniatures? Because <laughs> I've never looked for a butterfly mini before. Uh, but I don't know. Some cool butterfly miniatures would be really neat. So if you have any ideas, please pass them on. Dale says, looks good about my chimney. Uh, maybe a gray wash. And sadly, I don't have... I mean, I could make a... I could just dilute some gray uh, and do that. Uh, that could be something, yeah. I really wanted like a nice uh, red brick for the chimney. And I thought also with it of uh, picking maybe just a few bricks here and there and then just doing them like either a little darker a little lighter to have um some pop on it and not a lot but like one or two per section maybe to go through on each side and then have it and do that and i've been using um i um painted this you know with um uh just spray paint so this was a rest only uh spray painted colonial red i think they call it um but i have craft paints uh that i'm gonna use for it so I, I actually just bought a big thing of red from michael's before like they weren't allowed to be open anymore uh because it was buy one get one half off or something like that so i got like a big thing of red a big thing of green because i didn't have those and then i got like a small thing of blue or a small or something else um but i can with white enough white and black i can darken or light in almost any color so i might uh, do that to do the bricks and that could be really uh fun as well uh good morning mark thank you for joining us today uh and let's see rob says buck Surdu ran frog wars at historicon 2009 i'm not familiar with frog wars and eureka in australia makes frog wars figs all oh, right i know the figs and i know eureka i um i'm just gonna leave it there um oh and they have a butterflies aerial unit i wonder i I was thinking that they must be like Reaper, maybe make must make like a, a nice big butterfly or something like that. Um, but I was thinking maybe something like that, like a, you know, like a nice big size one, where like it's I don't know, like person size. This is a twenty eight mil figure, but like this is by hassle free. But like a, a, a big like twenty eight mil size is what I was thinking. So it'd be like a gigantic butterfly, or something like that. Uh, or they must be like a D and D giant butterfly. I don't know. Maybe that's where the way I need to go. But I thought that could be a lot of fun uh, to dive into and check out. And what else do we want to talk to you about today? Uh, we covered all that. We covered that. Uh, the so follow Friday. That's really cool. Um, oh, make sure you get your orders in with things from the basement because they do have that 10% off going on. And I can't remember if I told everyone that the War Games Company has been releasing a series of painting tutorials on painting 10 mil. So that's um, been showing up on the social media. 
Uh, so if you're doing 10 mil, you could check that out as well. Oh, Jamie says maybe a toy. Yeah, a toy could be a good idea too. Uh, yeah, that's... Oh, Lego. They must have butterflies in like Duplo or something, right? There must be Lego uh, butterflies somewhere. Something else to look at. Hmm. So many options. Uh, for any of you who are looking for a good leisure activity, I found out recently that LeVar Burton is doing story times. So he's doing them uh, at different times, in different days, he's doing them for grown-ups, he's doing them for uh, young adults, and he's doing them for kids. And so this could be a really fun thing to do. Uh, he does them as a Twitch, not Twitch, as a Twitter live thing. And it could be a lot of fun to check it out. I love LeVar Burton. I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with him from Star Trek and, you know, as um, Kunta Kinte. And, of course, uh, for me, anyway, he's uh, left a big mark on me uh, because of Reading Rainbow. And he has a podcast out now. Uh, it's called LeVar Burton Reads. And I've been subscribed to it and listening to it since day one. It's fantastic. And those are all short uh, fiction. Usually sci-fi, but not always. Uh, but short fiction pieces that are really nice. But this is going to be a Twitch Live where he's going to be there with the book and reading it. And it's going to be just really cool as well. So that is just a really neat thing um, that you might want to check out. So it's on his Twitter account. And if you don't have a Twitter account, I believe you can still watch it even without. So you don't have to like sign up and get enrolled in that if you don't want to. And Rob says, sorry, it's Pond Wars, not um, Frog Wars. Uh, it's 28 mil and they have samurai bunnies. I do love bunnies. Oh, I wonder if the samurai bunnies would be good for, um, Usagi, uh, Yojimbo. And Dale wants everyone to know Wargaming Company. That's correct. They're running 25% off until 4-6 so you can buy your knock trees. Remember I advised the other day, buy knock trees, the 25% off. Uh, so if you get like the, the pack of 50 trees, they're a dollar a tree. And that ends up being 30 something dollars after discount and then go to things in the basement and get your irregular bases because uh, those bases are really cool as well so i would suggest that and i realize you may not have seen the regular bases so i'm actually i'm going to pull it up on my phone and then i'm going to show you it that way which is not ideal but i can't screen share the way this is um so a regular basis these are just i don't know i love them i really just love these things uh, so he you're going to shows the design file. He doesn't actually have the whole thing, but here you go Come on there. So that's what you get you get bolt sets. So you get four of these regular bases for six dollars and fifty cents That tells you about how big they are and You can fit a lot of trees on there and as I showed the other day I have versions where um, I actually have trees on and so I use like Vallejo uh, black mud I think it is or thick mud something like that I put and then I put the flock I made a flock mixture of the fine um, ballast I think it is from Woodland Scenics of dark and light uh, fine turf sorry and then I also have versions where um, I have nothing on there it's just it's grass so that way when units move into the forest with the trees I can take that whole thing out and replace it with an identical one with the same size base and everything uh, so that way I can just do that and it works out really nicely um, and James says that's cool Dale yeah that is cool uh, those knock trees they're gorgeous so check them out they have a tendency to um flake <laughs> I guess so you want to give them a good shake when you first get them and then save the off stuff that falls off because then you can use that as basing and stuff and uh, ground things and Rob says my mistake no butterfly I dash that unit I commanded some killer bees in that game turtle tank is awesome very cool so that's about all we have for Friday and I just want to remind everyone that um, just to recap what's going on so tonight the Mythwits on Facebook is having their um, movie night where we get to watch Flash Gordon. That's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll have a link on Facebook, on our Facebook page to that. I'll be there, I'll be watching. Monday is the Mythwits live show. Tuesday, we're doing the Dirty Dozen as our Netflix party. So I hope you can join us on Tuesday for 8 p.m. Don't worry, I'll remind you on Monday and on Tuesday as well. And then today's a special follow Friday. So be sure to go to our, our um, Facebook 
Facebook fan club page or in the comments below or chat or whatever and tell us some of your favorite gaming companies and people who could use maybe a little bit of business and a little bit of attention, which would be really sweet. And then uh, otherwise, I want to thank you for your input into my chimney and thank you for looking at the arch bridge here, which is just a gorgeous piece as well. It's just it's a lot of fun. Uh, so we have that going on and it's just cool stuff. So please have uh, a good Friday. Uh, be safe and healthy and happy today and this weekend. And make sure you're, you're kind to yourself and others. Don't forget, listen to the experts about the pandemic. The doctors, the medical professionals, the scientists, not Karen from Facebook. Please, I can't stress that enough. There's so much false information going around, like 5G is causing it and all this stupid stuff. Don't fall for it. Listen to the pros, okay? They know what they're doing. And stay the heck home. Just shelter in place, people, uh, if you can. Uh, it, it makes life better for everyone else, and we'll flatten the curve, and we'll get through this. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll be back on Monday, whatever the date is for Monday. What is that? The uh, 6th? Is that right? Yeah, that is right. Jeez. This pandemic has thrown me off. So we'll be back on Monday the 6th uh, with another pandemic coffee break at 1030 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Look forward to joining you then. Be sure to check us out on YouTube. We're still doing our giveaway for uh, if we get enough subscribers on YouTube and just doing all sorts of cool stuff. Just trying to create content and get things going on. So thank you again. Remember, no matter how busy you are, no matter how much time you're thinking about, hmm, I wish I were a butterfly. You know that you have to. You gotta. You need to. That's right. Keep on gaming. Thanks, everyone. Be well.